set up here at the lathe, we're going to trim these cases. These are 9 millimeter cases. Uh, if you want to use them to make 40 caliber swage bullets using these cartridge spent cases as jackets. I've got the ER40 collet chuck set up in here with the stop that I made. I'll show it to you after we cut a couple cases. Uh, we'll do five of them. Cut them, chamfer them, deburr them, and then measure them and see what kind of consistency we're getting. These are unannealed. Um, I don't know how well annealed brass would cut. It might be fine, but it's just as easy to take it and just do it right here before you anneal it. Basically, just take the case, push it up against the stop, tighten the collet up by hand. Turn the lathe on. Loosen the nut. And I've got my carriage locked down so I don't get any movement this way. And you can see. Been in the collar chuck, but no big deal. Just back it out and keep going. Remember, we're just doing, we're just tightening it down by hand. We're not putting a wrench on it. So, when you feed in, kind of go slow. You get the feel for it. speed steel bit I'm using really is ground for cutting other steels not brass so if you're going to do it you may want to have a dedicated tool you know with not so much cutting angle on it that way it doesn't want to grip the brass like it did on that second one so again just please put it into the stop Um, BNC 
set out or set in a little deeper when they hit the stop. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. You would think that they should be uniform, but yeah, I guess that really wouldn't make much sense. look at the stop in there that's fully adjustable um, and of course you can trim check and then um, you know you could always advance your advance your compound rest towards the towards the chuck you know if you want to cut them shorter if you want to cut them longer um, but doing it on the lathe with the ER40 collet chuck is definitely um, nice and then the other nice thing about the is um, I think there's 30 collets that get you just over one inch. Sorry, one eighth to I do one eighth to 26 millimeter, which basically gets me to one inch and 24 thousandths. So anything in between, it'll grip. And that's all there is to it.